What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another video for y'all. So, today is an interesting one, but before we get started, if this is your first time viewing this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me ASAP. ASAP. Um, but today is just gonna be a quick venting video for y'all. So, for those that, that have been following me, know that I recently got the uh, Mopar Stage 1 lowering springs installed. Um, excuse the rain in the background, the weather out here is pretty crappy. So, um, but yeah, I got the Mopar Stage 1 lowering springs installed. So, to give y'all a backstory of what happened is I got the Mopar Stage 1 springs from the Dodge dealership. Um, they required me to give them my VIN number, um, which they use to check for compatibility. And if it's compatible, they order you to park. So I gave them my VIN number and the Mopar Stage 1s popped up um, and I ended up purchasing them. I got them installed through Tire Kingdom and I'm not gonna lie, the day that I got them installed, I did a quick comparison from the factory springs and the new Mopar sp Stage 1 springs um, as far as the ride height goes and uh, didn't notice a drop at all. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it just needs to settle. Cool. So five days later, uh, actually, initially after getting my Mopar Stage 1s installed, I noticed the ride quality of my car has improved um, and the handling has improved. However, I didn't notice a drop, not initially because the day I got my springs installed, I also had to put my factory wheels back on. So I had to wait till I got my 22s back on there so I can actually get an accurate measurement. So once I got my 22s put back on there, I remeasured, as y'all saw in my recent video, and noticed that the springs, it didn't give me a drop at all. It actually raised my car about a half an inch. So I contacted Dodge and come to find out, they asked me, well, what part number did you, uh, did you order? So I gave them the part number that was on my invoice that they pulled from. Good Lord, it's bad out here. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. It is bad out here, y'all. So, but yeah. So, they pulled the part number. Um, they, they looked up the part number and they said, well, that part number is not compatible to, the, to your vehicle. It's only compatible to the uh, RT models. Okay, well, first and foremost, then I want a refund because you guys, I gave you guys my VIN number, you guys pulled a part number or stated that that part number is compatible to my car. That's something that I should have known the day that I tried to get the lowering springs from you guys that, hey, that part number is not compatible. Or what I'm finding out today that, oh, for the SRT8 models, Mopar doesn't even make springs to fit the SRT8 models yet online they have srt8 uh they they advertise that they do fit them uh, now i've noticed that majority of them state that they fit the challenger srt8 models but i found them on a few websites including i believe mopar parts online that they fit the charger srt8 models but that's besides the point because i didn't purchase my springs online so that argument I, isn't really valid in my situation because I purchased these springs through Dodge. I purchased them at the Dodge dealership. So you mean to tell me I'm not going to get a refund or at least, the? I think the very least y'all should pay for my, uh, 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 pay for me to get my factory springs put back on. Not that I want to, but work with me some kind of way. So pretty much the service manager um, or the parts manager told me that there's nothing that they can do. Well, needless to say, Dodge, I will be calling your corporate office and filing a complaint because to me that's BS, straight BS. 
and that's poor customer service. And on top of that, whoever your parts people are, if a part is not compatible, y'all need to update your system to where it reflects that a part is not compatible and not sell me something for me to only find out later that it's not compatible after the fact that I noticed that the uh, springs actually raised my car a half an inch. So I, 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 it's, it's complete BS. Now had the springs provided a drop and had I not complained, nothing would even come out of this. Dodge would have got their money no, uh, for their parts. Nothing would have came out of this, yet the part is still technically not compatible for the SRT8 models. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be calling corporate on this um, situation and seeing what, what can be done about this because that is complete BS. <laughs> like, straight up, that is complete BS. But that is my update, y'all. Um, do not buy those Mopar Stage 1 Springs. If you have a SRT8 model charger, um, do not buy those Mopar Stage 1 Springs. Um, regardless of what you see online, regardless of what is labeled online, do not buy them because you'll run into the same issues that I'm having. Go with Sportline or go with Hotchkiss Springs, uh, Hotchkiss Springs, uh, Lowering Springs because those are actually compatible. I called them uh, actually before I started this video and yes, they offer lowering springs that are compatible with the SRT8 models. So um, the, pos the positive in this whole situation, like I said, my ride quality has improved. So until I decide to get my car bagged, I'm not gonna say decide because I've already decided that I'm gonna get my car bagged until I get the money to get my car bagged because I want to go with the uh, AccuAir system, um, which is not cheap. <laughs> So it'll, it'll, it'll be, I'm gonna say more than likely springtime next year that I'll be able to get it done just because I have other financial obligations to attend to on my car. Stay posted for that. Um, and the fact that these springs did not make my stance, you know, appear very different. It, the, only diff the only way I really noticed it was after measurement after measuring the uh, uh, um, the height after getting them installed. So that's that's only time I, I really noticed it. Besides, the rear does, I mean, it the, the gap did, I'm gonna say it, it was noticeable to me. Other people that have seen my car post installed haven't noticed it until I actually said something about it. And even after saying something about it to them, it, they said, well, it still looks the same to me. So it wasn't a drastic difference. However, the fact is, and proof showed that they didn't lower it. And then now I'm being told that they're not compatible. So, which it, it all makes sense now. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update for y'all because I, I, I had I had to give y'all an update. Um, I'm still going to do a one month review <laughs> of these springs. Uh, like I said, maybe they'll settle down a little bit and It'll go back to my factory rod height or lower maybe a quarter to a half an inch um, more compared to what it sits right now. So I'm still gonna do a full review and give uh, the stage one springs an honest review. And the weird aspect that though they're saying it's not compatible to the uh, SRT8 models, they fit. They fit, you know, they definitely fit. I have no issues. I've been driving on them for almost a week now. I have no issues. Uh, the car doesn't feel bouncy or anything like that. So, like I said, the ride quality has definitely improved. I'll give them that much. Um, but, needless to say, I will be calling corporate on this Dodge. I will definitely be calling corporate on this and seeing what y'all can do um, about this situation. Uh, and really seeing if y'all are truly about your customer service like you say you are. So. That's just a quick update for y'all. Nothing crazy about this video. So if you like the contents of this video, make sure y'all hit that like button. As always, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss any exclusive content. And until next time, y'all have a good day.